Hello, welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a resort business. My name is Mary and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a resort business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. A resort is a place that usually has exclusive facilities for rest, relaxation, and recreation. Resorts are designed to attract a diverse range of vacationers and to promote tourism. It can be a location, town, or commercial establishment that anyone who meets certain requirements can own and operate. Resorts are frequently places that offer scenic beauty in addition to a variety of activities designed to refresh and enliven a person both mentally and physically. A resort achieves this best by providing vacationers with food, beverages, room and board, shopping, sports and entertainment, and anything else they might need in a single, convenient location. There is no monopoly of business talent or skill involved in learning how to start and manage a successful resort business. Indeed, entrepreneurs at all levels can actively participate in setting up and running their own reports by strictly adhering to the steps outlined below. The first step in establishing a resort is to develop a viable investment strategy to guide your business strategy. Opening a resort is a significant investment that necessitates a large sum of money. As a result, applying for loans or securing alternative financing options may be prudent. Due to the financial resources involved, the time required to complete the project, and a number of specialized facilities and construction techniques involved, it necessitates a different approach than other real estate endeavors. The successful completion of the resort development project will necessitate meticulous planning and coordination of various elements such as purchasing land in a prime location and coordinating the grand opening. Analyzing and projecting the financial feasibility of the entire project is critical to ensuring that the resort will be profitable or at least break even. You must also consider whether it will be run as its own distinct brand or as a franchise of a well-known hotel operator. Prior to, during, and after construction, you will also need to obtain the necessary permits, approvals, and licenses for your resort. Acquiring prime areas that are major tourist attractions is arguably the most difficult task in starting your resort. The majority of people prefer to spend their vacations on sandy beaches or in locations with snow-capped mountain peaks as a backdrop. Ecotourists, on the other hand, prefer desolate wetland areas or environments where endangered forests play a significant role in the spectacular scenic beauty. A local realtor can be very helpful in scouting for, selecting, and purchasing or leasing land in a specific area. Your resort's overall appearance will be critical in attracting members of your target market. If the resort they are staying in has a shabby and rundown appearance, they will never believe they are in a true sanctuary away from the hustle and bustle of their everyday lives. As a result, the entire design of the resort, from the entrances, interiors, exteriors, lobbies, and fittings, must be incorporated in a way that will most dynamically make vacationers forget all their troubles and simply relax. A beach resort's look should be exotic or contemporary whereas traditional or modern designs can work well with other resort types, such as those used for skiing or equestrian activities. Your resort should be fully equipped with various facilities that will allow any type of activity that a vacationer may wish to partake in. Beach vacationers, for example, may enjoy activities such as surfing, snorkeling, or sailing, whereas those staying in a mountain resort may enjoy skiing, rock climbing, and trekking. Guests staying at a resort expect and demand a five-star vacation experience without exception. To avoid disappointing them and ruining their vacation, you should also provide your resort with convenient amenities such as wireless internet, cable or satellite television, dependable room service, and complimentary gift baskets, beverages, toiletries, and so on. Ensure that the rooms are spacious and airy and that they have accessible verandas from which guests can enjoy a panoramic view of the scenic beauty that surrounds them. After you've built your resort, the next step is to attract the right kind of customers. You should have a website that showcases everything about your resort and is accessible to anyone, at any time. Photos, rates, discounts, blogs, activities, facilities, updates, and anything else that can be used to highlight the resort's strong points should all be included on the website. If possible, include a section with frequently asked questions and booking advice. Your resort can be promoted by having its own social media presence on sites such as Facebook or Twitter, as well as having it reviewed on online tourist forums such as Condé Nast Traveler or TripAdvisor.com. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, 
Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a resort business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.